We begin in Graham, where new at noon, the Confederate monument outside the courthouse will stay in place for now. The Alamance County commissioners came to that conclusion during today's meeting, and there were some tense moments in protest leading up to it. WFM Minus 2's Jess Winters joins us live in Alamance County with the latest. Jess. Megan, let's take you to those protests first. A couple dozen people were flooding the streets of downtown Graham, and they eventually ended at the Alamance County Sheriff's Office. And now my photographer saw four people being arrested, but I'm still waiting for confirmation on what the charges were in regards to those arrests. This was all in response to this morning's board meeting discussing the fate of the Confederate monument in the square. Now, while I wait for confirmation on what those arrests exactly were for, let's focus on the future of the Confederate soldier in the heart of Graham. The county attorney says local government is powerless and can't remove it because of state law. They've been going back and forth for months and finally figured out that the county does own it and it sits on county property. But county governments must follow state law and state law says it cannot be removed or relocated unless it's going to a place of equal prominence, not a museum or a cemetery. So the county attorney says that doesn't leave any options, stressing it's in the general assemblies and ultimately the governor's hand because of that 2015 law. Now this meeting was two hours long. It did cover a lot of bases. They also talked about new policies when it comes to protestings in the streets and a obtaining permits for those. We'll have more details on that because these are new policies coming up on WFMY News 2 at 5 and 6.